rising cost of tuition and increasing student debt, it's important for us to find a way for traditionally underserved students to achieve a college degree. A college degree is really important these days in order to secure a stable, well-paying job. And early colleges do a good job of supporting students, both giving them the opportunity to take college courses during high school at little or no cost to their families, as well as providing the supports to transition into college. Early college high schools are kind of like dual enrollment programs on steroids. First of all, all students within the early college high school are expected to take up to two years of college credit. And in addition, uh, these students are in some cases expected to earn a college degree by the time they graduate from high school. AIR has been conducting research on early college high schools for over a decade. And so this follow-up study funded by the Institutes of Education Sciences within the Department of Education allowed us to follow these students for the extended period of time and look at their college enrollment and degree completion outcomes up to six years after expected high school graduation. Overall, we found that the positive impacts of early college high schools persisted six years after expected high school graduation. And about 84% of early college students compared with 77% of control students had enrolled in college. We also found significant differences in degree completion uh, with about half of early college students and about a third of control students earning a college degree within six years of expected high school graduation. Within four years of expected high school graduation, we saw that 21% of early college students and 11% of control students earned a bachelor's degree in that time. The findings from our study really indicate that there is a positive impact of early colleges on students' post-secondary enrollment and degree completion outcomes. And this can have long-term effects on students, especially since so many of the students earned two years of college credit during high school. Those are two years of college credit that they earned tuition-free. These students could be entering the workforce sooner or continuing their education at a younger age. It's our hope that with this research we see the longer term benefits of early college high schools and that can influence policymakers and practitioners to support the continuation of existing early college high schools as well as the development and creation of new early college high schools. Mm -hmm.